And this is all Kim. And this is not a spring chick. Today we're going to be talking about something, well, you've seen a lot in the news, and it has to do with Boston. Yeah, and uh, their Boston was a... a they, they think, well, it's a great victory for the United States. No, it was a great loss for our country. It was and a victory for the terrorists, not our country. And you're wondering, how could that happen? They found the terrorists, right? Oh, actually, after they agreed to finally call them the T-word. Yeah. Well, here's the problem is, the President of the United States was a definite loser because the President of the United States found out that in one of the liberal bastions of the whole known universe, they're bloodthirsty types that basically if they'd had AK-47s, the whole city would have went out looking for them with it. And you don't get gun control when you notice that a city is cheering the death of a person. Mm -hmm. That doesn't happen. The people of Boston were losers because the people of Boston showed how malevolent they really are and, uh, and cheering, you don't cheer the death of anybody, even if they're the bad guys, you don't cheer their dying. And also because they allowed themselves to be beaten by the terrorists. They shut everything down, the sporting events, everything. They let themselves be beaten. The country lost because the country is willing to shut down an entire city because of a terrorist act and the entire world lost because the world now has shut, the United States has shown every terrorist organization in the world all you have to do to shut down an entire country. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was a, and the, who won? The t one guy that's dead and the guy that's in the hospital. They were massive victors. They will be held forever as, you know, you know they, they picked a state where there's no death penalty in two folks and they can't, they, they're not let the guy out of the state because they want to try him at, at a, they want to try him in a civilian court, not a federal court. Not even not a military court, so um, it's a god awful disaster for our country. And you got people in the news media proudly cheering, waving American flag. We're waving the flag to show the fact that we uh, we went to the Long Beach Grand Prix. There were so many homeland oh security people everywhere that people didn't know what to do. I saw people turn around and leave because of the guys with the guns. Mm -hmm. They were more scared of the guys with the guns than they were the terrorists. So, I mean, I mean, my father was a police officer for a cut off a long time. My father said, the best security that you'll ever have is security you never see and you never know about. We now know that we have no security. Mm -hmm. they, they didn't have to put this guy's face out there because they knew who he was. Mm -hmm. Two years ago, they, they, they got the, you know, the Russian government asked, for the, asked the United States to keep watch on him. Theoretically, he was on a watch list called uh, facial identification, if they run it to the computer, they knew who the guy was almost instantaneously. I know, I love how it's like the Russians told us to watch Yeah, because they're Chechnyan rebels. Um, the family, people around them knew that they were not the nice little kids that they were being made out to be. Turns out today that the one gentleman, according to the thing, he was married and nobody knew about it. The feds didn't know about it, supposedly. Something stinks, really stinks. But the problem is, is that the media screwed up on their coverage. The media did overkill because media give them an opportunity to go for blood in the water, they'll go for it. They always do. You want to simply low play it, let everyone live their lives like they normally would. You think that in Israel they would have given as much coverage as, there, as we gave to all of this? Oh gosh, you've been hearing about it for days. The, the, the news crews were out at the Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach saying, Oh, did you notice increased security? And then what are you going to do? And, and they're asking all the celebrities about that. That's all they were talking about with the thing. Other than the press people, we were actually were all setting up because there was nothing to do, you know, waiting for when there was something to do with them. In Israel, they would not have stopped life for a terrorist attack. Because it's everyday life over there. Yeah, here we let the terrorists make the rules. And they will, they'll do it again because they know what we're going to do every time. Mm -hmm. And it'll get worse the next time because they know, they know that the, uh, they know that they can put the explosives in uh, without being checked because you pick something, you know, something that's really soft and easy to attack, and they'll attack it next. And then the next time they'll attack something that is very soft and under secured, because we cannot have the security that is necessary because it's cost prohibitive. 
Even in, even in Israel, they can't have the security. I mean, it's an unfortunate thing. People get killed in nightclubs, they get killed in restaurants, they get killed on buses because it is impossible to give security to everything that needs security. And it only takes one person, and that's all it takes. Is like it's called, they're calling it a one man band now, folks. Oh, they are. They usually use that when it comes to <laughs> when you're already being used for news and production. Yeah, but uh, you know, I feel sorry for the world because of what we let happen. I feel sorry for the people that were killed because I had relatives killed. I mean, I was in war. I know what it's like to see people die. I know what it's like to see people hurt. I'm, I'm full of bullet holes from here all the way up to here, so I know what it's like, and I don't think it's fun. Uh, but. My, you know, my, my father, my father died right after the Simpson trial, and my father said that um, that the world was going to ever be changed because we're now going to have nullification of people killing white people is going to be nullified by by, by Afro Americans in the thing. So, you know, jury nullification basically that came about, and um, now we've told we've given every bloody terrorist in the whole God own universe. The way to to cripple every country in the in the world, except uh, I mean even the Muslim countries will be crippled by this because they take it more serious than we do. But we give them a blueprint. So you you, you we lost. It was the biggest loss. Our nation will never suffer as big a loss as we did in, as in Boston, because they showed that we can be manipulated. And you got to stand firm. We didn't. So I guess. There'll be, there'll be more. I really feel sorry for people, you know, and I'm, I mean, I lost, okay, we're going to tell you, I lost family at 9-11. Mm -hmm. I mean, some of the only, you know, some, I lost my young relatives there, so I, I do that. I mean, I mean, I remember, for instance, uh, one of my relatives, Lisa, calling up, and she said, my family was killed, and my mother, my mother, well, well you know, they in a traffic accident, and she said, no. She said, well, you, you know, uh, were you watching the thing? And said, yeah, my family was in the towers when they came down. Mm -hmm. So I, I know what it's like there too. I have been, I had another relative on an airplane. Actually, the father of my nephews basically stopped a hijacking. I like, know, that's he, 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 he physically stopped a hijacking on an airplane overseas because he said, you know, we know how to deal with hijackers. So, um, so I've had it, I've known it firsthand. So um, yeah. my father was a police officer during the assassination of John Kennedy, and my father would tell my mother how paranoid everyone was then. They actually wanted to go seize the guns of everyone in the state of California to protect the uh, hardworking people from insurrection. And um, now we went overboard. Well, now you can see how everyone wanted to have an AK-47 to go out hunting for the SOBs that did the killing. We all lost. So I guess until next time, this is okay. This is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information. <laughs>